I came to Ashland 19 years ago to find a place for my children to be raised in a small community that cared about them, cared about the environment, and fell in love with not only the mountains and the rivers, but also the people that are here. And the co-op was one of the first places where I was able to connect with that community. The Ashland Food Co-op really is a center for our cultural town of Ashland. It's the place where people get to know each other. It is where you get to see people where they're at, bringing sort of their best selves forward. And to me, that's what's really important about a co-op, is that it is that combined effort of so many different people trying to do some really good things. The co-op started with a, a group of families that couldn't find the products that they uh, wanted. So they pulled together and said, what do you say we get the, uh, I think it was Arrowhead, was a catalog that you could order out of. Let's go through the catalog and we'll get a minimum order together. Uh, we can move some stuff out of the garage and put a table up and we can divvy it all up. And that went on for a series of, of uh, months, not really years, before that crowd grew to the point where it was a little unwieldy. And they said, well, what do you say we actually find ourselves a, a little retail space and then outgrew that quickly and moved to a space that many remember on 3rd Street. Then in about 1990, built a, the store that we know now, and within a couple of years, did an expansion. Right from the beginning, the co-op encouraged me to supply their store with, with bread. I've been putting my bread there for nearly 40 years. I started with one mixer and one oven. I baked out of my house. I would show up every day to put bread on the shelves. And often it would just all sell out. And sometimes I would go to another store where I had bread that had too much. I would buy that bread back and I would take it over to the co-op and sell it, sell it again to the co-op. And the co-op has stood, stood behind me for all those days that I show up. When I first started selling to the co-op was in 1999. I wanted to provide food for people who were interested in how their food was raised. Our whole goal is to humanely and kindly and calmly raise sheep, lambs, have a production that's compatible with our land, the type of sheep that is compatible with our grazing system that doesn't require a whole ton of extra feed and that can do really well on these pastures. What I love about Ashland Food Co-op is how it's such a hub in the community. And as a, a local winery, it, it's great to be featured there. Every wine at Schmidt is 100% estate fruit. From growing the grapes here on site, to harvest, to pressing, to making the wine, even to storing the wine, the wine never leaves the property until it's sold. I've been on the board of directors for about nine years. I took over what is now called AFC Gives, which is the Ashland Food Co-op Gives. It is our philanthropic arm of the board and of the co-op. And we've taken that committee from originally starting off giving about $20,000 a year in community grants, but we've also added in a really important program called Change for Good, where each month a different local nonprofit organization is partnered with the Ashland Food Co-op. And those partners not only share information with the community about what they do, but owners then can also round up their purchases with their change, and that money goes to those organizations. And with that, and a lot of other efforts with regard to fire recovery, we've raised over half a million dollars in the last 12 months for different local nonprofits. So it's really exciting to be able to use the power and energy of goodwill from our owners and put that to use in our community. A great thing about having our relationship with the Ashland Food Co-op is that people who are uh, locals or visitors to the area are able to experience our wines that may not be able to come out here to the, the vineyard itself. So we are located in the very northern part of the Applegate, so a lot of people in Jackson County don't make the trip out here until they have experienced the wine. And we've, we've found during, whether it be COVID or whether it be the, the fires, that having the local community be able to support us and keep us going is absolutely vital. I really enjoy that relationship. I enjoy being part of it. I'm a co-op member, you know, I like to buy my groceries there too. I enjoy it when they have events and I get to go down and participate and cook for people and talk to people. It's really important to know that you're part of their community and they are part of your farm. 
I would bring my daughter Jenica down to the bakery when she was just a little child. And as, as time would go, I would give her jobs that would actually be contributing to, to the efforts that we make here. We had a conversation just the other night, what, what, what will be the future for this bakery? She says, yeah, I, I can do this, I can do this. I say, gosh, there's not many parents that would wish their lives onto their children. But she goes, you know, I like this life. You know, it's, there's artist, artistry, there's music, there's food, there's good coffee, there's a community gathering, there's so much richness here. All you need is right here in Ashland to offer so much. One of the strengths of the Co-op is that we can do good. We can do more than just an individual can do for our community and for the environment. I'm really proud of what the Co-op's done with some of its sustainability initiatives, not only from a perspective of trying to become really carbon neutral in the future, the way that we approach all of our products, really trying to make sure that we support local purveyors, as well as understanding the whole microcosm of food here in the valley and how do we support that in a way that not just benefits us as a business, but it also benefits our owners and it also benefits the community as a whole. I think the secret sauce for the co-op isn't one thing. I think it's all of the above. 13,000 owners, the location, the, it's not a classical grocery store. It's got its peculiarities. I think it's got a very different workforce. You know, our structure uh, internally, I think, is different. The fact that everybody is in one place, there's no corporate office, we are all together. We see each other every day. And again, 160 of us. Our team is, is pretty amazing. I feel really honored to be part of the co-op right now at this 50 year anniversary because it gives you that moment to sort of stop and think where did we come from and where do we want to go? And where we came from was a group of people who wanted to be able to live a healthy lifestyle and do it in a way that was affordable. And for me, what our next 50 years is really how do we take that vision and expand upon it? So how do we create an opportunity for more people to have healthy, organic food that is affordable and approachable, meets their needs both culturally as well as nutritionally? And so to me, we can take those really basic principles that we started with and we now have the strength of our ownership and our 50 years of, it, of being established to really expand upon that and grow beyond just Ashland and really create a cooperative for the entire Rogue Valley that affects and supports all the different people who make home here in Southern Oregon.